My name is Mary Hawkins, and I am at the Philbrook Museum of Art in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I am discussing the work Shadows, painted by Frederick Carl Frieska in 1913. It is oil on canvas. The artist, though American, spent most of his adult life living in Europe, and was actually neighbors with the painter Monet, though he claims Monet didn't really have an influence on him. Almost all his paintings contain scenes with females and many garden scenes. He loved painting the effects of sunshine and light in his paintings. If you've ever studied the art of photography, you might know about the rule of thirds. Imagine that the picture is divided into three by three grids. You want something to occupy these lines, not just haphazardly placed. In shadows, the composition follows this rule. It's almost like you're taking a picture of this woman in the garden. It seems like it is cropped, like a real photograph. This picture is balanced and harmonious. The diagonal line from her parasol leads the viewer just off from the corner of the page, so your eye doesn't leave. The busyness of the flower beds and scenery is balanced by the plain grass. The lines that create the shapes of the woman, plants, and other objects are very soft and not crisp. You can see the thick brush strokes, hatching of paint, and rich texture. Although you may look at this painting and initially think a happy garden scene, take a closer look. In comparison to the other paintings Frisica has done, he uses cooler colors here, blues and greens. They are less intense and the value is darker. Compared to other paintings, he is filled with light reds, oranges, pinks. Do you remember the name of this painting? Shadows. In the front grass, you could imagine a tree making the shadows on the grass. Frisica is still playing with the light, in this case the absence of light, and the shadows that are created by the light being blocked. I want to also point out that although the subject is hazy and blurry, I think this is still a naturalistic painting. It is depicting the figures and objects as we might see them. From a methodology's point of view, I would view this work from an autobiographical meaning. When the painting was made in 1913, Frisiga had already been spending his summers at his house in Giverny, France for many years. He's about to reach the age of 40. Going back to what I said earlier about the shadows and cool colors, perhaps he's having a sort of midlife crisis or looking back on his years and his works with a bit of melancholy. The reflecting and almost sad face of the subject could be a reflection of his own feelings. This painting stands in contrast to many others of his. Perhaps he is tired and needs new inspiration. Perhaps there's symbolism in the girl watching the shadows of the day encroach, and eventually they will fall over her as well. Perhaps he's reflecting on his daughter, Frances, who will grow up in the innocence of youth that will be covered with the harsh harshness of the real world. I believe Frederick Carl Frisco was an Impressionist painter at the latter end of that movement starting in the late 1800s. He studied in France where the idea of Impressionism originated. Impressionism sounds like what it is, painting the first impression you receive. The thick brush strokes capture the initial glance at the scene and subject, not so much the little details. It's almost like capturing the feeling of the scene. It is more candid, more like a photograph than earlier art. It's getting away from formal portraits, stories, biblical scenes, etc. Because with the new invention of photography, art didn't need to be that anymore. An artist could spend the time to play with light, to be different, or just do art for art's sake. Frisica plays with light a lot in his painting, which is like all Impressionism. Frisco was neighbors with Claude Monet, whom I do believe was an influence on him. They both paint these leisurely, everyday outdoor scenes, using often their very own gardens or surroundings. When one thinks of Impressionist art, Monet is probably one of the first people that comes to mind. I chose this piece because I've always loved the paintings of Claude Monet, also an Impressionist. In choosing a piece of art within a day's journey of Fayetteville, I was able to learn about other Impressionist artists like Frederick Carl Frisco and discovered his painting Shadows. It is simply beautiful. The colors are so soft, cool, and muted. This picture seems calm and almost melancholic. I think a great piece of art makes you reflect on yourself and humanity. When I saw this picture, I initially just saw the beauty on the surface, a girl sitting in a sunny garden. As I looked closer, I saw more, the shadow of a tree drawn closer that will cover her. You wonder to yourself, what is she thinking about? Sometimes, even when everything seems to be going great in my life, I find myself feeling stressed or blue. One might look at someone else and think their life is perfect, but everyone has their struggles and fears, no matter how beautiful their life around them seems. This painting is an impression, just a snapshot of this girl in this garden. As we go about day to day, all we see are snapshots of others. We don't know everything about them. Shadows has been a great work of art to study, and I have enjoyed applying some of my learning toward it. In the process, I have learned so much more about art and about myself.